What's up everybody, my name is Chance and today we're going to be playing some Golgari Zombies. Now I got to thinking yesterday and I was like, you know what I really want to play? I want to play an Open the Graves deck. But I want to play an Open the Graves deck where it doesn't take till turn 6, turn 7 to get down to Open the Graves and then it's pretty much useless at that point, right? So I thought and I thought and I thought on uh, how we could do this and then the most obvious answer kind of slapped me in the face. Let's play Ramp into zombies so it's pretty much the idea for the deck today and uh, sure the name doesn't imply it like most most decks that I play do but uh, we'll get into the deck tech or the deck breakdown and help you all to understand now before we do get into the deck tech or the deck breakdown I would like to go ahead and say two things um, first off this isn't a serious deck this is just a jank so you know take that take that as you may and take it with a grain of salt um, furthermore, if you're new here, consider subscribing. It's free and it does help support the channel and uh, me as well. And we try to have fun more than anything. We try to have fun on the channel and play decks that are interesting rather than just net decking a whole bunch of Esper and Mono Red, right? Um, if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions for this deck, future decks, or past decks. Alrighty, so kicking us off, we have four copies of Land of War Elves, two copies of Incubation Druid, and three copies of Paradise Druid. Now, obviously, all these cards are going to do just as I described in the beginning, and they're going to help us ramp. We have four copies of Assassin's Trophy for some easy removal on any permanent our opponent controls. We have two copies of Fine Finality to either get back some of our creatures from the death or to, uh, you know, board wipe everything. We have three copies of Death Baron to give all of our zombies that we do end up creating a uh, Death Touch, which is obviously awesome. We have two copies of Obnixilis' Cruelty for some more removal. We have two copies of Evolution Sage to try and help either get our Planeswalkers or our uh, our zombies that can get plus one plus one counters on it. Um, Evolution Sage really is more of a fun card in this deck than anything else. All right. As I was saying, we have two copies of uh, Poison Tip Archer, which is going to deal one damage to each of our opponents whenever a creature dies, whether it's ours or theirs. Uh, we have one copy of Raska Golgari Queen, as I think she's an excellent Planeswalker. Some pretty easy removal on converted mana cost creatures or anything that is three or less. Um, allows us to sacrifice out a permanent and gain one life and draw a card. And then furthermore, her emblem is just a win con, right? Moving us down, we have Raska Swarm Eminence. Um, whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a player or a Planeswalker, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. So, I really wanted to try out Raska in a deck where we were trying to give zombies Death Touch. So, here it is. You know, whether or not it works or not, we'll have to see. But this is definitely a card and a, a tactic, I guess, that I wanted to try out. So, we have two copies of God Eternal Bantu. 5-6 uh, comes down with Menace, and we can sacrifice any number of permanents we control and then draw that many cards and of course it has the god eternal effect of uh, being rather hard to take out we have two copies of open the graves as again I said in the beginning I wanted a deck that I could play open the graves and it not be uh, not be a huge hassle right not be a huge pain in the ass to get down uh, we have two copies of Nisa who shakes the world which is you know obviously a game winner all on her own we have two copies of Liliana Dreadhorde General which again can win a game all on her own depending on uh, how much removal your opponent has for Planeswalkers. And then last but not least, we have Vraska Relic Seeker, which again can win the game on her own, creates uh, creates tokens, can destroy things, and uh, her ulti is pretty much a game winner. So that's going to do it for the deck tech or the deck breakdown, and now we're going to hop right into some matches. Alrighty, here we are in a game one up against Dark Ninja 107, and uh, rocking the Vivian avatar. Sure. <laughs> we have some removal, we have some rampage. I mean, it could be okay. Let's see what uh, what Dark Ninja has in store for us. They choose to keep or mulligan their hand. They're going to keep it. Alrighty. And we're off to the races. So, I kind of like how we have this 2, 3, 4, 5 mana play. Hopefully we can... We can draw appropriately so. So there's Incubation, which is going to be our Poison Tip Archer next turn, I believe, unless they throw down a creature or something we may want to remove. Um, should go into Poison Tip. Now, one more land or a land of war. Ooh, Vraska. Vraska's really good as well. Like, really, really good. Yeah, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and get down the Vraska first. 
and decline. And the reason is, if we can get her up to nine, then like, y you know, that that's a win con. <laughs> it's a very, very simple and easy win con. Now, they're hovering over my incubation, which makes me think, oh. <clears throat> Target opponent discards two cards. Oh, no. Well, if you want me to be completely honest, I don't want to get rid of any of them. I want Open the Graves, I want Poison Tip, I want Obnixiluses, and I want Assassin's Trophy. If I had to get rid of two of them, I guess Obnixiluses and Poison Tip, because I really want to open the Graves, and Assassin's Trophy is just really great, right? Uh, I definitely don't think that was the most appropriate play. I definitely should have gotten rid of Open the Graves, but hey, what are you going to do? Alright. Judge me, I guess, in the comment section. That that seems to be the common uh, the common result whenever I'm like, you know what? I want to have fun. I can generally expect about you know a a day up to a day after I I've uploaded the video for someone to be like, wow, you you really suck. You shouldn't have kept that in your hand. But you know, people people are as people are, which just means they're gonna complain regardless of what you fucking play. You know, I could be over here playing Esper and I'd have people complaining that I was net decking too hard. I could play literally whatever I wanted, but there's always going to be that rebuttal of like, hey, you're either not having enough fun or you're you're not being competitive enough. This deck sucks. It's not uh, it's not ranked worthy or this deck isn't that fun to play. It's just like the, the thing that I like about the magic community is half of the magic community is really, really fucking cool. Okay, Dark Ninja, just gonna scoop it out there. I mean, I, d I don't really blame you, right? I have the, I have the Vraska, uh, the Vraska emblem, which, and a creature to attack with, which is, uh, GG. So that's gonna do it for the game one, and I guess, uh, my point there about, you know, half, half people on Magic having fun and the other half being so serious that they don't know what fun is if they went to Six Flags, um, you know that that's basically the whole point of that is I, I try to have fun with the game as opposed to to just being serious so on into a game too pico blah blah yeah pico blah yeah pico blah yeah I don't know look y'all know my pronunciation is ass and when people come in here with names like that it's it's only gonna get worse all right, we are going to keep this hand. It seems like a very, like, meh hand, right? Because we just have a whole bunch of removal. We have a land of war and a Liliana, which doesn't scream exciting. But uh, I like the rampage. Assassin's trophies are okay. Just okay, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure how much I like fine finality in this deck, to be completely honest. Like, finding creatures in our graveyard hasn't seemed to have been the most productive thing. Finality is excellent. Finality is pretty, pretty fucking dope. But, uh, yeah, I think we can go ahead and play the Guild Gate here and not, not really worry about anything. We could have Assassin's Trophy, their Incubation Druid, obviously, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna have bigger, better creatures. They're playing Gruul, so chances are they're trying to ramp into something. Hey, Stony Strength. That's, that's genius! Pico ba blah yo blah yo look pick <laughs> pick you genius you stony strength on an incubation druid tapping it then playing it so you get the mana and you get four mana essentially from oh my goodness you're a savage you're a fucking savage Pico <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I've never thought about that. That is that is wonderful. All right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> so I want to get the Death Baron down. I don't think that uh, it's what I should do. Next turn we're going to be up to five mana. One away from a good finality, which is uh, pretty much not going to hit him. Maybe we should just Assassin's Trophy the Morrowind, yeah. Maybe we should just Assassin's Trophy that Morrowind. Let's see what they have in store first. And the reason we go ahead and do it at sorcery speed instead of instant speed, because if we wait till their turn, they get to use the mana. So it's not really where we want to be. Sure, we did just help the evolution sage to proliferate the incubation druid up again. Um, I'm, I'm not super 
concerned with that. Hey, another evolution sage. Um, cool, 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 cool. And is that a land? Is that a fucking land? It is! Holy hell. This is going to be one big incubation druid. 6-8. Dear goodness. Okay. And we will just go ahead and assassin's trophy the incubation. Because that's, uh, that's a big boy that we, we don't ever want to deal with. So, now that we'll not get out another land, that's kind of crazy. Alrighty. Hey, open the graves. Buddy, pal, friend Oman, you're back. Indeed. Nice to have you here. One more land and we can get down either a Liliana or we can play the finality and just wipe the board, which seems perfectly fine as well. Karn's Bastion getting drawn out for our opponent. They're probably not going to play it. Ooh, that hurts. That tickles my fancy a little bit, not going to lie. Um, Death Baron, Obnixilis's finality. We don't quite have enough for finality. If we Obnixilis's, um, we can't Death Baron. I kind of want to keep my land of war alive. If we Death Baron, we can defend out against one of the Evolution Sages. Take the other three. I mean, it feels like either way we're taking the damage, so... Yeah, maybe we just we just take the damage and use Omnixilis's. I think that'll be a fine play. So let's see what, what uh, Pick decides to do here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and Obnixilis' is cruelty one of the evolution sages then. Hey, another land. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's go ahead and go with the Liliana. I require service. Your corpse will volunteer. Uh, do we sacrifice or not? I don't think so. I think we're perfectly fine, and getting rid of their evolution isn't the world's biggest concern right now. Um, and we can always do it next turn or the turn after, or, you know, so on and so forth. But for now, I think we're perfectly fine just making making our little zombie army. Ooh, Relesque. That is, uh, that's a card we actually can't deal with with finality, so that's kind of scary, not gonna lie. And now that evolution stage is too big to deal with, or to be dealt with with finality as well so we'll go ahead and block here we'll probably minus the Liliana next turn and just kill both of their cards right um, bum, 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 bum. okay so if we do minus it would be better actually to go ahead and play Vraska and sack out the Lana War right right so let's do that then because we are gonna minus the Liliana so let's plus one on the Vraska Oh, come on, I'm not done. I was going to say this way we get a little bit more card draw. Sure, we're going to end up sacrificing the zombie we got at Atlanta War out. Um, I don't think that's the biggest concern. You know, I think restocking our hand is a bit more valuable. Nonetheless, we'll move on to a game too. People aren't even letting me finish my matches. It's kind of depressing. Alrighty, here we are in game three up against Earth C. Earth C. Alrighty. <laughs> I see open the graves and I see some rampage. I'm gonna keep it. Y'all know I'm a pretty uh pretty simple man. Bum 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 bum. Alright, Earth see. What do you have in store for me? Y'all like those rhymes? <laughs> I had somebody comment and tell me that I should do a rap with strictly better MTG. I actually haven't like I've never seen them, never seen content from them, never even seen their name. So I definitely need to go check check them out. I've been trying to broaden my horizons on the MTG content creators that I watch, um, because you know everybody knows Knox and Merchant and you know uh, Day Nine. Some people may not know Day Nine just because he's not as adamant on it. Uh, I don't know. Nonetheless, the point is, um, I've been trying to get more familiar with the up-and-coming magic people like me. So, like, uh, Mr. Easy Mode, right? He's, uh, he's definitely on his way up. Uh, Professor or Dr. Bumcheeks, I forget what his actual YouTube channel name is, but, uh, I know people call him all kinds of things, so. Bum, bum, bum. I think we... Just go ahead and Obnixilis' Cruelty, the Deep Root Elite, to be completely honest. Let's just get it out of here. We could either do that or the River Sneak. And, uh... I 
actually, I think we're we're perfectly fine attacking in here with the Paradise Druid. We're not we're not going to defend, right? We can't have a River Sneak. Um, and if they're playing Merfolk, they shouldn't really have an answer for our Paradise Druid. So the thing that does scare me with Merfolk is uh, sleeps, right? Sleeps are just the world's worst. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be a big old river snake. That's gonna be a really big river snake. Look, man, I was looking to play open the graves next turn, but you're doing this stuff, and it makes me makes me question whether or not that's still a good idea. Um, hmm, <laughs> So we could just assassin's trophy, right, and just go ahead and take out the river snake, or we use open the graves and take a fuck ton of damage. I don't think taking a fuck ton of damage is really where we want to be, so... I guess we'll just have to play it safe and use Assassin's Trophy. Alright, so next turn, though, we'll have enough mana for the Liliana or the Vraska. Liliana and Vraska, two, uh, two awesome senoritas. So let's see, let's see. What do we... What do we want more? Liliana... Well, if we Assassin's Trophy the River Sneak, they're only going to have two creatures left, right? So minus an amount isn't the world's worst thing. Pass to attackers. You have no Merfolk to play right now. None. That's surprising. Alrighty, well, let's get rid of that River Sneak. We're still going to take two to the face. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's better to play the Vraska or the, the Liliana. I'm going to say the Vraska. It's a bit harder to kill her. You, you still get down a 2-2 creature either way. Um, and at least with Vraska, it has Menace. So, Sure. We'll go Vraska first into Liliana. I don't think it'll matter too too much. Um, what do you have? Hexproof or some shit? Blink of an eye. Okay. <laughs> Oddest card in Merfolk that I have ever seen, right? All right, yeah. So let's let's go Vraska. You know, I I just talked about it. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's get our pirate down. I gotta say, this is one of the ugliest pirates. <laughs> it looks like he's, he's literally wearing pieces of the boats. Like he has pulleys on his chest and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's just like, what are you, what are you doing? Sure, attack my Vraska. You literally did zero damage. Hey, Anissa. Oh, man. Don't you just love when things just, like, come together and it's just, like, pop, pop, pop? All right, so we will Anissa. We will plus one. We will get a forest. We will plus one on Vraska. Or plus two, I'm sorry. And we are going to get down the Incubation Druid, but first I want to swing in with the forest, as it is free damage, right? <clears throat> Three and three. I know that's those two words are very, very close together. So then we'll get down our incubation. This game's going good. Now let's hope they don't sleep us, as that would uh that'd be painful to my face, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, what are, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Hopefully you don't sleep us. Commence sleep, asshole. What a fucking asshole. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, we have Vraska. We have Open the Graves. Um, bum, 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 bum. Do we play Vraska, though, is the question. Well, we're probably going to do this, right? <clears throat> and I don't want to do that quite yet. We do have enough for Open the Graves. Sure, let's get down to Open the Graves. I've been talking about I wanting, wanting to play it. It's just... I have all these planeswalkers. How could I not play with all of these awesome planeswalkers, right? So, <clears throat> we'll kick it back to our opponent, see what they have in store for us. Vraska is, uh, well, at that point where we can just win the game with her, so they very may, very may well scoop. Because, um, again, Vraska, you know, has the emblem. We minus 10. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so... That's going to be a game 1, 2, and 3 picked up by us with our Golgari Zombie deck, which seems like the Planeswalkers are more of the focus of the deck than anything else. 
Either way, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, be sure to leave a like and a comment and all that good stuff. Um, and then, of course, as always, I'll either see you all later tonight or tomorrow. Peace.